Hi, it's uh, James Akers here, tie guy. Uh, today I'm tying a brand I have never tied before. I have never owned any product by this brand. Very high-end brand, very um, high quality stuff, and super expensive. But um, I'm trying to bring out a few different brands in these tie videos so I can give you honest reviews and comparisons between uh, the different manufacturers. So today, we're going to be tying a tie by Givenchy. It's, uh, it's spelled uh, Givenchy or Givenchy, but um, it's uh, pronounced, I believe it's pronounced Givenchy. I believe I'm saying that correct. Uh, if I'm not saying it correct, I'm sure someone will comment and tell me that. That's cool. Uh, I am, uh, I'm a hillbilly from West Virginia that's worked very hard to make something myself, so I may not be able to pronounce every brand out there, but uh, I, like my, not my, I like my ties. Anyway, as far as the quality goes, um, it lays beautiful. This tie has a really ultra soft and flappable feel to it. I don't think they, they put a, a big liner like a lot of the brands do. It's more just about the silk and the look. Um, the negative I could see to this tie is it's pretty short. Um, I, I was noticing that when I first opened up. It's a brand new tie. I haven't had a chance to tie it yet. But if you compare that to like, uh, here's a Keton, which is going to be a similar price range. Um, and you put them side by side, there's a substantial difference uh, in the Givenchy and the Caton. If you put the tips together, um, so this is tip to tip right now, and you go all the way up, the Caton is literally like four or five inches longer. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, yeah, you can see it on the camera. Four or five inches longer. Huge difference in that. So we'll see how that comes together whenever we put it together. I think a lot of these manufacturers, when they make their ties, they make them for the guys that tie the, that tie the single Windsors or that honestly just don't give a crap about how their ties look. Um, I'm a traditionalist. I like that triangle knot. I like symmetrics. I like things. I have a little OCD. I like things to be in order. You probably know I have OCD just because of the way my closet looks if you've ever seen my videos before. And I'm okay with that. Literally, my shirts go by, um, by shades of color all the way through. You know, I just that's how I like things to be. This tie, though, back to the ties. Enough about me. Uh, it is an absolutely beautiful uh, tie. It's black, gray, and red. So it's basically a black tie with a geometric pattern that is uh, like little squares superimposed over top of each other. And it's got some gray and some red uh, striping that make up the little squares. It has a really nice luxurious feel. I mean, as far as feel goes, I'm going to put this, you know, definitely above average on the, on the major uh, brands, uh, on the luxury brands. Uh, it's a French, uh, French company. Uh, their logo, one of the logos is this little, uh, I know they use a monkey a lot, but they also have like this little face, outline of the face of a silhouette. So, um, guys, I'm really excited to tie us up. Uh, without further ado, let's do that. Um, I want to see how it comes together. With it being such a, it's a thin silk. I didn't show you that. It's pretty thin and doesn't have a big liner. So, I imagine the knot will probably tie pretty tight, which I like. Uh, and I'm wearing a button-down shirt because of that. Uh, and we'll see how it uh, how it comes together. My concern is the length, but like I said, with a tie a tighter knot, you can get by with a shorter tie. But we're getting ready to find out, and you're getting ready to find out on camera. I'm doing one take. I don't I don't do cuts and stuff like that. So I'm going to start because it's a thin tie. I'm going to start right in this range here. Now it's, it's very wide, like as far as the width. I really like that. But we're going to start there. Now doing that, look how short the back of the tie is. I mean, I'm I am concerned about this, guys. I mean, I have look at this. I have hardly anything to work with. Uh, but let's, let's rock it anyway, right? So we take the, the long part over top of the front, back in behind, up, and through. Then we come around behind, up, over, down, and through. I call this the checkpoint. We want to look, make sure our tie is coming together nice. And, and when I say checkpoint, sometimes your tie may be a little bit, cro uh, not just crooked, but like overlapped or, or out of order. So this is where you want to check that because this is the base of a full Windsor tie. Now we take the back out over the front, around behind, up and through, and we're going to take it down through this little pocket we just created. We hold the top of the pocket and we pull the tie down through. We're going to turn it down to the sides, you know, bring the edges down underneath the knot. And then we'll hold on to the knot. We're going to pull in the long part of the tie to tighten it up. Guys, this is going to be short, I think. And then we pull on the short part of the tie, and I have very little to grab here. And pull the knot up to the uh, to the neck. And right now I'm short. Like, the tip of the tie, this part of the tie here, should come between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. I'm above my belt buckle. I look like a circus clown right now. I can't handle that. The problem is, I don't have any slack here. 
because if I if I uh, let this out, this is, I mean, there's a little bit here, but it's not a, I was concerned about this going in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this knot super tight. So this is actually really good for you guys to see, you know, because I do consider myself an expert in ties. So we're going to hold on this knot, and we're going to pull the long part of the tie. And what that's going to do is that's going to make this knot tighter. And by making the knot tighter, we're pulling more material out. And if I can buy two inches or so worth of material, we're going to be okay on this. Uh, but let's see how this comes together. Um, all right, hold on to the knot and pull on the long part of the tie. And I'm going real tight with that. That brought us to the top of the belt buckle. I'm going to do it one more time and see if we can get to a little bit past the top. Okay, so and now the knot's really tight now, but that's okay. We'll hold on to the knot. We're going to pull again. And now we're going to tidy it all up. And now we are just past the top of the belt buckle. I'm okay with that. Now, it's borderline for me because it's like right near the top, but it's okay. Uh, I knew this tie, I mean, literally as soon as I took it out of the package when it arrived, when it was shipped here, um, I immediately saw, man, that's a short tie. So, Givenchy, make a longer flip and tie, okay? If you're going to charge the money you're going to charge for it, make a longer tie. That's the negative. As far as the review goes, got tied really nice as far as the silk is beautiful. I mean, it feels amazing. Very high quality silk. There's no doubt about that. The design is good, has a good look to it, but it's just way too short. Now, the, what you could say to me is you could say, well, James, tie a single Windsor. No, I'm not tying a single Windsor. I like a flipping full knot. I want it to look nice and professional, clean and classy. And if you don't, that's okay. That's what I prefer, and I'm the one spending my money on the ties, so they're going to look the way I want them to look. So that's just how it is. So let's button this collar down and see how this whole thing comes together. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. But it's my YouTube channel and my ties, right? So I tie them the way I want to. <laughs> All right, let's tighten this up a little bit here. So we got our button-down collar. And the nice thing is by uh, pulling that knot in really tight, I was able to, uh, to not be too large of a knot for, uh, for these buttons. Ooh, looks pretty good. Got a little dimple going on here. Um, it's still a little bit short for me. A little bit short, but we can... We can Keep adjusting that a little bit, you know, but it's always so tight you can make that knot. And I think we're at the max right there. All right, guys, the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of the screen, but I'm going to go through it with you right now. Today we are wearing a suit uh, by Isaia. Isaia is a wonderful Italian tailor out of Naples. And this is a black pinstripe, almost a kind of a charcoal, I guess, a really deep charcoal gray pinstripe suit, almost black. Um, I do have the SIE uh, um, lapel pin. I just, you know, I think it makes it pop, especially with this tie that I'm wearing today. So the tie, because it has red uh, in it, I went with a, I went with a red shirt. Uh, this shirt is by Brooks Brothers, and it is a pointed collar with a, with a button-down pointed collar. The tie is by Givenchy, and it is an absolutely beautiful black with geometric red and uh, gray stripes throughout. Today we're going with a black Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle. And because we're wearing red, we're wearing red bottom, Christian Louboutin, black Oxfords. So um, on my Instagram, you're going to see everything staged. Uh, you'll see close-ups of the tie, the shoes. Um, we're also going to be wearing a watch with this day. I should have shown you that. We're wearing a Gucci watch with a red. It's a, it's a two-tone, uh, yellow, yellow and uh, stainless, a gold, golden stainless, yellow and, yellow and uh, stainless steel look, um, with a red king snake. That's one of Gucci's uh, uh, logos. And we're wearing that Gucci watch today with this outfit. I just think that red snake is going to pop with the red in the tie, the red shirt, the red bottom shoes. This whole outfit should come together. Um, so that looks really nice, I think, with this outfit. Um, check out my Instagram. There. You see close-ups of everything. Um, and uh, it's tie guy James Akers. Guys, if you like my videos, please, please click subscribe and like. I'll be making more content. I am down to five ties that I haven't ever tied before. Five ties that I haven't tied before. So I'll be doing those, but I'm about to make another trip. I need some retail therapy. So I texted my stylist, Andre, down at Neiman Marcus and Charlotte. I said, Andre, I need some ties. So he's going to stock me up. I'm going down there, I think, next weekend. And uh, that way I can make more content for you and add to my collection. Guys, have a great day. I am ready for you.